Hello and welcome to UMass Lowell's Online Housing Gateway Tutorials. My name is Matt Austin, I'm the Associate Director for Residence Life here at UMass Lowell, and I'm going to be walking you through how to go through University and Riverview Suite Selection and General Room Selection today. So the first step that you'll want to do is submit your housing contract and deposit to the Office of Residence Life by March 30th, 2013. The next step, once you've submitted your contract, is to go to the UMass Lowell Residence Life website, as you can see here, and click on the Online Housing Gateway button at the top left. That will bring you to a screen that looks just like this, and you can say Start here at the Online Housing Gateway. So this is our Housing Gateway portal. You can say I have completed my contract and deposit and want to log in and your username and password are the same credentials that you'd use in your student email or ISIS. And I'll make this a little bit bigger for everybody at home. So here we are at the main page for the Online Housing Gateway. If you are interested in selecting into University Suites or Riverview Suites, you'll want to do that on April 11th and 12th and general room selection for all the other halls is April 18th and 19th. So depending on what process you want, that's when you'd want to log in here. So to get into University Suites, for instance, you'd want to click on self-assignment and click on general room selection. And it'll bring you to the screen here that says welcome to the general room selection processing. And it has all the steps listed in order to confirm your room assignment. This section over here on the left also keeps track of where you are in the process as you complete it. So you click continue, and it says please ensure you have your prospective suite mate's screen name, student ID, and meal plan preference before beginning. Now your screen name is something that is emailed to you with your lottery number in early April. So make sure that you have that for any of your current um, prospective suite mates. And you click advanced search. And for this example, I'm going to say that I want university suites, and on the fourth floor, I just want to pick a suite there. So under building, it'll have all, this, all the buildings listed here. Uh, for this, again, for this example, I just selected University Suites. And then we'll just click Continue to see all the available suites within University Suites available. And here you see University Suites Suite 401 is available, and then it has six available spaces listed here, and it's not locked, meaning somebody else is not trying to get into that suite right now. You can click the next page to see more suites that are available. And then there's to three total pages, so these are all the suites available within the fourth floor of University Suites. So for this example, I'll pick University Suites 401, and under Lock It, I'll say Go. So now the timer starts at 10 minutes for me to pick my room and also pull in any roommates that I want to have within my suite. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of bed spaces, there will be six bed spaces within this suite, be, meaning it's a six person suite. And you can see they're all listed there. And over here it says I want this particular bed space. So 401A1 and 401A2 mean those two are going to be roommates within 401A. So I'll say I want 401A1. And I'm a valid student. Down below here you can scroll down I'll scroll down a little for you and see that there's a bunch of spaces here for potential roommates. So as I mentioned for that screen name, it's very important. That's a second piece of identification that you'll need for your potential roommates. I have an example here that I'll use. And you can see Edward Silva is his name and that he is also a valid student, meaning he has submitted his contract and deposit on time. If I wanted to add anybody else, I could also do that right here in this field and in this field, and then the next person would come up. So in this example, I'll just say that me and Edward want to be roommates. I'll say pull in roommate. And then we can pick what bed space Edward is going to go in. So if he wants to be my specific roommate, I would want to say 401A2. If I want him in another room within that suite, 401B and 401C are available. In this example, we'll just say he's going to be my specific roommate living within my bedroom. And he is a valid student. 
and then we can click yes we want this room so here's an overview of your room booking you can see the term which is fall 2013 here's the term dates the move-in date the move-out date as well as the rate amount now obviously the rate will be uh, populated here for this example I just put zeros and we can see that for Edward and myself for the fall and then the spring as well for Edward and myself and we say continue with plan meaning continue with meal plan and for this example I just selected the 14 meal plan to be nominated here um, all the meal plans that we have available will will be showing up when you go and select for your Roman meal plan and you click select for each person and continue and then this is just a recap of the following meal plan bookings same thing as the rooms it has the move in date move out date what meal plan you wanted and I put an amount a default amount of 1900 that will that is not our amount for next year um, so when our, our amounts when our rates are posted you'll be able to see that here and click confirm and it's easy as that congratulations you have successfully completed the room selection process as you can see I just got an email and as a reminder it is for the entire semester and you can print out this page right up here it's got my information listed here as well as Edwards information listed below in the room booking and we'll scroll down a little and the plan booking so all this is just a recap of what we just did and that's as simple as it gets for selecting a meal uh, selecting a room and meal plan